today's video we will see how uh, we can uh, use the data type float in arduino and how we can um, display the floating point values that means decimal values in arduino because we have studied about integer values that th those are pure um, int is a pure integer number there is no decimal values you can hold actually right so if i have to hold a decimal value let's say 2.56 i cannot use an integer variable right obviously this character variable and string variable can also not be used because they cannot be used for any kind of arithmetic operations actually so um, the thing is how you can handle uh, a, a number and you can use it uh, for any any purpose that the number can be used and how you can um, create a variable in the decimal number right so <clears throat> let's say if i say int I'm just saying int x then your number has to be a like 20 or something like that right okay if you have to play display to 20.58 okay 20.58 then integer value will not be suitable uh, for that uh, purpose obviously right so I'll write increase that for that purpose so what we can do actually is uh, instead of integer value we can use float values so I will delete everything I will write this float okay so float let's say x and i can display store a value like 2.56 that means you can have decimal uh, point values so um, let me have this way float x is equal to 2.56 so i will increase the display okay 2.56 so then if you want you can display print that value that's totally fine so you know how to print it Mm -hmm. serial begin uh, 9600 so if you have anything you are stacking somewhere with this in this tutorial you have to go to my previous videos have a look and come back so then once you does this to continuously print the float value I'm writing the serial printing part inside the uh, void loop okay so maybe we will remove unnecessary spaces even this space we can remove okay serial dot begin sorry not begin print ln print ln and simply i will pass that variable name x so that 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 value in the variable location that is 2.56 can be uh, displayed or oh, let's say printed okay so 2.56 will be continuously printed this scenario cannot be obtained using an integer variable obviously you cannot do that using an integer variable you have to go for a float values so uh, suppose suppose um, let's say you are changing the value of x and you you let's say you are crazy and you are giving five so now you are assigning an integer value to a float variable type so and then you can try to print that value you can give a try and see you will get that <coughs> integer value to be printed in a floating form normally okay so it can be like i don't know the exact decimal point values it can be like uh let's say 5.00 sometimes in a, in a float format uh, and also i am not getting that much into this uh, uh let's say um, how many decimal points will be coming in a float variable uh, because that goes into the data types actually so it is said six to seven but uh, let's not talk about that so um Obviously, you can go for two decimal points. That's that's obviously possible. But when you when it comes to a float data type, you can look. Uh, you can do your own search on that. But let's not get into the, get into that for this moment. Just know there's a data data type called float, like integer character string. Now we will have something called float that can be used to hold decimal type numbers. Okay, so you, because when you say float x, that means uh, uh, the, the the program uh, will find a memory in the in the IC or something in the Arduino. And obviously, in the memory, uh, we the program will be able to store a float value. So when you assign 2.56, that float value 2.56 will be uh, stored in the in the location named as x. So this x will be when you say float, this x the location named x will be able to be holding a decimal number value. That is what you you have to know. So whenever you have to handle a decimal value, I encourage you to go for float. You cannot uh, you can you, you cannot use the any of other variables that we have studied up to now you can use double let's not get into this now you can use float that's acceptable and you can display the value obviously 
So why we need a float value is normally we have to use decimal values obviously for our calculations or whatever. Uh, let's say you have to take a um, display take a use a division. Okay, so when you are dividing some numbers, let's say you are dividing five by two, so that is two point five, so that's a decimal number. So that number you cannot hold in an integer value. You have to hold in a float value. And when you are getting analog reading values, you may have to go for float values. Um, and those float values are more precision than the integer values, obviously. So from this video, what you have to understand is there is a data type called float. Um, you can create variables as float variables and you can assign float values to that. And even you can go for um, whenever you need, uh, you, you are going to play around with the values that have decimal numbers like temperature values or humidity values or anything, right? Or divisions, you can go for float uh, variables, float typed variables. If you can understand to this extent, this is enough for this tutorial. So when we explore further, we will uh, try to explore how, what is the exact range of float values, how many decimal numbers we can go, things like that. So until I catch you up in the next video, have a great day ahead. Bye.